Hi and welcome to your yoga practice. Let's open our practice together in hero pose, smoking your herb of choice. Today's class is an invitation to make peace with stillness. We'll explore this intention through yin yoga postures that will be held for around three to five minutes each. And if you choose to combine this practice with plant medicine, I recommend a lovely CBD, indica, or even an edible taken about 45 minutes before this practice, which can be a really nice extra treat if you have time to float through your day. But choose whatever works for you. Grab a bolster and I'll meet you on the mat. Let's begin in puppy pose, bringing your knees underneath your hips in tabletop pose and then walking your hands forward. Your forehead rests on the floor. Massage the space in between your eyebrows. Notice the flow of your breath. Expanding your ribs forward, back and out to the sides. Our intention in yin yoga is simply to follow the breath. Release all muscular effort. And find stillness for the time that you're in the posture. When you bring stillness into your body, you also bring stillness into your mind. So keep tracing your breath, letting that be at the center of your awareness. Make your way to Sphinx Pose, coming down onto your stomach. Your elbows are underneath your shoulders and your gaze is low. Finding another back bend. During transitions, it's nice to remember that you can remain still even while moving. So this stillness happens in the mind and just means that your awareness is fully present, even in your movements. Check in with areas of tension. Directing your breath to your shoulders, your lower back, your bottom. As time goes on, you find more surrender in the pose. 
dropping more into the present moment. Walk your hands to the corners of your mat, maybe even slightly forward, and lift your heart up, coming to seal pose. So it's really nice to make sure your hands are actually on the mat, so you're not sliding forward and feel more supported. The feet can come a little bit wider. Take full breaths, deep inhales, and complete exhales. Lower back down into Sphinx Pose and breathe. We've been here before, but it's going to feel very different from what it did the first time, so act as if this is brand new. Keep your awareness rooted in your breath. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders, push up and back to child's pose. Moving slowly, we'll just be here for a minute, finding this gentle forward fold as a counter pose. Bring your hands by your sides, still in child's pose, stretching the fronts of the shoulders. Come to tabletop pose or downward facing dog and step your right foot up to the top of your mat for a lizard pose. Both of your hands come on the inside of your right foot. Lift up, bring your hands onto your front thigh, sink your hips towards the floor, keeping your back toes tucked. Stretching into your back quad. Maybe bring your hands onto the floor in front of your right foot. 
or rest your hands on top of your bolster. Give your hips room to sink. Maybe that means walking your right foot off to the side a little bit more. Finding your edge here, but not going beyond it. And then committing to the time in the pose, finding stillness, physically and mentally. The stillness might not be very comfortable and stillness usually isn't comfortable in life anyway. The yin is a great practice to sit in that a little bit more in a controlled situation. It's good practice. Keep your awareness on your breath. And just by paying attention to your breath, you might notice it starts to slow down a little bit more. Make your way to Downward Facing Dog. Make your way to Lizard Lunge on the other side, either stepping straight up from Down Dog or coming onto the knees first. Sink the hips, rest on your front thigh, Tucking the back toes for a little bit more stability. Bring both hands on the inside of your left foot. Finding a comfortable depth in this posture and then committing to it. There's a saying that yoga is the way of moving into stillness in order to experience the truth of who you are. This meaning to say that whenever we find deep stillness and present moment awareness, we can really just slip into our true nature. Finding that space of sanctuary where you can retreat and be completely yourself.
release this pose, come to downward facing dog. Make your way back onto your knees and then onto your stomach for Sphinx Pose with a quad stretch. Coming down onto your elbows, bend your right knee, reach back for your foot with your right hand. You can hold onto the top of your foot, you can slide the top of your foot close to your elbow, pressing into your left forearm, rotating your right shoulder back and down and looking towards the back leg. Relax even more. Letting gravity help you find a comfortable position here. Finding as much softness in this still space. Gently release your right leg. Switch sides. Bending the left knee. Reaching way back with your left hand, opening up through the front of your left shoulder. And slowly pulling that left heel towards you. You might take your time, starting off by just holding the top of the left foot. And after a few exhales, your body might invite you to wiggle your left foot into the crease of your elbow. But it's by no means a goal. Just looking for where the sensation in your left quad feels the best. And while you're still breathing, full inhales and complete exhales. Release your leg. Bring your forehead down on your hands. Bend the right knee, bringing it in line with your hip. Keep your belly down, your chest down, and your legs heavy. Send the right leg back, bend the left knee. and send the left leg back.
Bring your hands underneath your shoulders, push up to a seat. Grab your bolster for saddle pose, a nice deep back bend that we've prepared the fronts of our thighs for, our hip flexors and our spine for. Now sit down on your heels. And you're welcome to stay here, just seated up in hero pose. Otherwise you can bring your hands slightly behind you, maybe your head hangs back, finding a mild back bend. Maybe make your way down onto your elbows. If you have a bolster there, then your head might already touch the bolster, so you may feel comfortable just laying all the way down. And it's also possible to do this without a bolster. Making sure there's no pain in your knees. Once you find your saddle pose, really get comfortable. Do any last minute adjustments. Maybe bring your arms overhead. Preparing yourself in the beginning so that you can find stillness and more longevity in this posture. Direct your breath to the fronts of your thighs. Feel your breath rising in your belly, the whole front side of your body. Sustaining this deep back bend by breathing completely. With each exhale, relaxing something that doesn't need to work. Slowly come out of the pose, rolling up. And then take a forearm plank, really briefly bringing your elbows down onto the floor, stepping your legs back to a plank, reaching back through your heels and forward through the crown of your head. And then release down. Find the seat and feel free to Maybe have another smoke of cannabis if that feels good before we enter into our final posture, Savasana pose. Having cannabis at this point can be a nice support for dropping into your body in Savasana pose. When you're ready, lay down on your back, bring your right knee into your chest, and supine twist, bring your right knee across your body, 
Cactus your arms. Let your right knee be heavy. And your right shoulder rest on the ground. Come back to center on your back. Bring both knees into your chest. Send the right leg long, supine twist towards the right. Stacking your left hip on top of your right. Twisting throughout the whole length of your spine. Imagining your spine is like a dish towel that you're wringing out. Come onto your back, bring both knees into your chest. Gentle knees to chest pose. Take a big inhale. Exhale, release everything to Savasana pose. Arms rest by your sides. Legs are heavy. Finding complete stillness. Stillness in the physical body that creates stillness in the mind. Savasana. Slowly come out of Savasana pose, bend your knees, roll onto your side. And push up to a seat, keeping your eyes low, keeping that energy that you've just cultivated in this 30 minute practice. Bring your hands together, thumbs in front of your heart. Bow your chin into your chest to seal in this practice. Thank you for sharing your practice with me today. 
ओम शांति ओम